Hey, what's up guys, it's Cracky Fox. Today we are making the Deutsche Bahn ICE 3M. It's class 406. So ICE, that stands for Intercity Express, number three, and M stands for multi-system. So this is a high-speed train manufactured by Siemens, and a class 406 is shared between Deutsche Bahn and Netherlands Spoorwegen, and it is designed to operate between the borders of Netherlands, Germany, Belgium, and France under their different electrification and train protection systems. Here's what it looks like. We have an eight-car train set, uh, very long, and here's what the other end looks like. So if you remember a long time ago, I did design the original ICE-3, which is right over here back in 2016. It's been like four years since I built it, and I always wanted to uh, redo the design for it, but it took a quite a long time to do it. Uh, but the way you can tell between uh, this regular one, which is the class 403, and this one, the ICE-3M, which is the class 406, is the roof. So if you take a look at the roof, uh, the old original ICE-3, they have way less pantographs uh, than this version, which has like pantographs on like basically every single car except the end cars. And if you take a look at the original ones, there's just these little nubs, little bumps on the roof. So um, that is one way you can tell. The Another way you can tell is like the interior, but of course this doesn't have interior. I think back in the day I did used to make interiors for these builds, although they weren't. Uh, they were pretty simple and here you can take a look at it side by side how far we've come in four years and uh, The new one I do like the design a lot better uh, But anyways, let's take a look at the consist. So this is an eight car train set It starts off with an end car followed by I guess you can call it a power car because it has um, The pantograph on the roof So this car has doors on either end and then there's like this third car where the door is only on one side and also um, the bottom is different as well, so that's going to be the third type of car. Then it's followed by the same car, just with the pantograph lowered. And then we have the board bistro car, which is sort of like a restaurant car in the middle. Here's what it looks like on the other side, slightly different. It says board restaurant right here in the red letters on the side. And then it's followed by uh, another power car. So this one has door on one side. And another power car folded down, a pantograph with doors on both sides, and then it ends up with the end car at the back. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the ICE-3M. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissions build, making this video possible, and let's get started. Alright, so just in case you need the measurements for this, this car in the front, the end car, is going to be 39 blocks long, while the intermediate cars, they are 37 blocks long. Uh, but let's grab our materials first. Uh, smooth quartz slab, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, red concrete, smooth stone slab, and uh, black glass, another brick stairs, and we'll take a uh, black concrete. And what else can we bring? I guess that's about it. So <laughs> let's go in the front here. Uh, we're going to add in uh, upside down, smooth stone, or smooth quartz stairs like that. And then on the sides, we'll add in smooth quartz slab. So I'm just going to be with building one side at a time. And then smooth quartz right behind it. Then diagonally back, uh, we're going to add in smooth quartz stairs and another one so it's going to be cornered. Then we'll add in smooth quartz slabs on top. Then the inside of this, we'll add in a red concrete block right there in the middle. And we're going to add another one diagonal to that and add another one right here to the side. Then we'll add in um, smooth quartz uh, slabs to so make an L shape around this. In the middle, we'll add smooth quartz stairs here and another stairs right on top of this red concrete. Then a smooth stone slab right here in the middle. And then on the side, we'll add another smooth quartz stairs. Follow that up with a smooth quartz block and a slab on top. And then right behind this, we'll add two smooth quartz slabs, the two blocks. And then on the top of this, we'll add in smooth quartz slab. So it's going to be hovering up diagonally. Then behind it, we'll add an iron trap door. Then we'll add in a black concrete. 
black glass, black concrete, black glass, black concrete, then smooth quartz, and black glass, smooth quartz. All right, then we'll go back over here, add in a smooth quartz slab on top of the trap door. And then we'll add in three of these stairs. All right, then in the middle area, we'll add in smooth quartz block. Two blocks right over here. And then in the front of this, we'll add in uh, these two nether brick stairs so it's, the edges are cornered. And right below that, we'll add black concrete and black glass in front of it. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab, two blocks wide like that in the middle. And the inside part of uh, where the headlight is, we'll add in a smooth stone slab right there in the middle. All right, so let's work on the roof. We're gonna make um, two by two smooth quartz slabs. On top, we'll add a two by two iron trap door, like so. Then we'll add in smooth quartz um, slabs, make it two by two, and add in smooth quartz block right here to the edge. Then we'll go extend that, so it's three blocks long like that. Skip the block, add another one here. Then on top, we'll add in a smooth quartz slab right there, so it's an upper block. And behind it, we'll add in two blocks tall, black concrete. In my mistake, this is actually supposed to be another brick um, wall right here instead of glass, so it's a little rounder. All right, so then on the bottom here, we'll add in smooth quartz slabs all the way across the bottom, like so. And the behind this portion, we'll add in uh, two blocks long, black glass, then black concrete. And we want to make sure that we have, I believe, seven of these windows. So they're all two blocks wide, so one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, like so. And at the end, we'll add in another glass, just one block long like that. So really nice reflection with these shaders. Anyways, next, we're to go um, right above this black concrete. We'll add in a slab. Then in a part of this, we'll add in a bedrock block. Then on top of the slab, we'll add in a white carpet on top. Then behind we'll add in smooth quartz and that's going to be four blocks long so one, two, three, four and then we'll add three right here underneath and then we'll add in smooth quartz slab here and then we'll add in a red concrete on the inside of this. Then out apart we'll add in smooth quartz underneath and then we're going to go back onto the roof area and we'll add in smooth quartz right there. So then we'll add in smooth quartz uh, slabs two by two right on top of that bedrock and go to the back, add another two by two at the very edge. Then we'll have uh, this mechanism in the middle. Um, that's going to be two smooth quartz in the middle. And then another brick stairs and a cornered stone brick stairs right there. And actually, this is supposed to be a stairs too. Change that smooth quartz to stairs. So you got that nice bump on the roof. All right, so now what we're going to do, uh, go on the inside of the glass, I guess, and take out gray concrete and add it so it lines up all the way across underneath the windows. And what we're going to do now uh, we're going to basically extend this slab, the red concrete, this quartz block, and also this roof section here with the quartz all the way across so it matches up with the front. All right, so once you extend that all the way to the front, it looks like this. And then for uh, this portion here, of course, to cover up the windows with uh, gray concrete. But this section here will cover this part in with black concrete instead, right over here. All right, so next we'll take out a stone button and we'll add in uh, two blocks here. Skip block, another one down, down. Did I just say down twice? Definitely down like that. And there also is going to be a dark oak button adjacent to this doorway. And this is supposed to be a doorway just in case you didn't know that. 
Then we'll add in a birch bun right over here on that pylon. And then underneath that, we'll add in a smooth quartz stairs on either side of that. Um, so that's going to be the DB logo, like so. They're both upside down. So it looks like this. Very cool. Now we'd go right over here to this back area. We'll add in a stone brick slab, three blocks wide like this, all the way to the middle. And we'll add one right here to the side. Then we're going to grab our materials for the wheels. That's going to be hopper, gray concrete, dark oak, fence gate, uh, let's say nether brick stairs, and then a nether brick slab. So let's go right over here. So skip two away from the edge here, add in the wheel, which is the gray concrete. Then we're going to skip a block, add nether brick stairs, and add another nether brick stairs on either side so it's upside down. And then a gray concrete wheel hopper sides of the wheel like so and then we'll add in dark oak fence gate towards the end and then two stone brick slabs on the other side then the inside part of this we'll add in um, another brick slabs all the way across the bogey all right so now I'm going to add in the wheel in the front and actually wait a minute we just need to add in Stone brick slab here, and then a dark oak fence gate opened up facing towards the hopper. So now that's it for the wheel. Now I'm going to do the front. So go right over here after the stairs. We'll add in the wheel. And then we'll skip a block, nether brick stairs. And then it's going to be upside down on the sides of it. Another wheel in the back, hopper sides of the wheel. And then there will be a uh, dark oak fence gate facing towards the outer part of the car. There's two stone brick slabs like that. Stone brick slab on the side of the wheel and then dark oak fence gate open it up towards the hopper. Inside part we'll add in another brick slabs all the way across the bogey. So it looks like this. Alright now for the rest of the side we'll add in stone brick slabs all the way across the outer edge. goes all the way across to the back like so. All right, so once that floor has been finished, we're to go to the second black pillar here, line up, go all the way down, add in a stone button right there to the side. Then we'll move up to the back. And this time we'll add in gray concrete, make an L shape around the top section like that. And the bottom part, just two uh, gray concretes like so. Then we'll add in another brick block in the middle and another brick wall. So it's going to be four blocks tall like this. Another brick slab at the top. Then we'll add in a dark oak fence gate right behind this stone brick slab at the bottom. All right, so once we're done with this, we'll add in a smooth quartz block underneath this window. And that's it for this side. So we're to copy it and build it onto the other side. All right, so once we have both sides, all we have to do is the bottom now. So let's go underneath right over here skip these three slabs and we'll add in two nether brick slabs go to the back so in the back we'll add in nether brick slab right after the fence gate skip a block and then two nether brick slabs alright so for the other side let's go over here what we're going to do is go over here skip these three slabs and we'll add in a three of these nether brick slabs spaced apart. Go to the back, skip two slabs, and then we'll add in two nether brick slabs. Cross like that. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the end car. Now if you want to add in these little details, um, you may have to use like other blocks. If you do want to have something there, you can add in an acacia sign right over there so you get the DB logo, because you probably can't put a button if you're using regular Minecraft so anyways if you want to leave it plain it's fine as well or I guess maybe you could try an item frame I haven't tried that yet but that could be an option anyways we're going to be moving on to the intermediate cars all right so first we're going to be building the one with the door on both sides so to get started on that we'll go over here and we'll add in these two gray concretes the bottom 
And at the top, we'll make it upside down L shape, gray concrete, and red concrete right there in the middle. Then to the side, we'll add in a smooth stone or smooth quartz block right there, and a smooth quartz slab right on top, and then two smooth quartz on top of that. Then on the roof part, we're going to add a two by two smooth quartz slabs. Then we'll add in smooth quartz in the middle and then smooth quartz stairs with stone brick stairs and another brick stairs to the side of it so it looks like this just like we did on the other side then we're going to add a smooth quartz slab here black concrete two blocks tall right behind it and the outer edge will add this nether brick wall then we're going to make a two by two of smooth quartz and then smooth quartz at the bottom, smooth quartz slab on top, bedrock right behind it, and then a white carpet right on top of the slab. Then where to go uh, right here and add in a black concrete block like so. Then two blocks long of black glass. And we're gonna go at two right here to the bottom and we'll add in uh, stone brick slabs, make three blocks long here and two blocks long on the outer edge. All right, so then uh, what we're gonna do now, go on the roof here, add in smooth quartz block here, then a two by two of smooth quartz slabs like so. And the inner part of this window, we'll add in a gray concrete block. Fill that in like so. All right, so next we're gonna go extend this uh, red concrete. So it's uh, 37 blocks in total, so one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven. So it extends like this. All right. So what we're gonna do now? Uh, let's go back over here, and we're gonna extend the slab here and the smooth quartz down at the bottom as well as the smooth quartz right here on the side all the way across to match up with the red concrete. All right, so once you extend that all the way across, looks like this. Then go right over here to the end and we'll add in smooth quartz here. Skip a block, add another one. And then we'll add in the inside part of this. Two blocks tall, black concrete. Delete this block in the middle here. We'll replace it with a smooth quartz slab. Then the inside part, we'll add in another brick wall right there for the window, so it's a little circular. Then we'll add in black glass right here, just one block. And then black concrete, and then two blocks long, black glass, black concrete. And then we're going to go back to the other side and we'll extend this part. So we got these two block wide windows with the pillars and the gray concrete on the inside part. And that's going to extend all the way across here. Once that's extended, it looks like this. Then we'll add in a birch button right here to the side of the edge uh, pillars like that. All right, then we'll go right over here to the other side, add in three blocks long, stone brick slabs cross to the middle, two gray concretes here, and then upside down L-shaped gray concrete top of that. Then we'll add dark oak uh, button adjacent to that uh, window that underneath we'll add in another stone brick slab like that. All right, so now we're gonna add in the wheel. So just take out gray concrete, add one here. And skip a block, another brick stairs, and another brick stairs upside down the sides of it. Pretty much what we did in the front. Uh, gray concrete here, uh, hopper sides of the wheels. And the inside part, we'll add in another brick slabs all the way across. Then the inside part of this, we'll add in a stone brick slab here, dark oak fence gate. So it's facing towards the hopper, open that up. And then two stone brick slabs here and a dark oak fence gate facing towards the edge. So if you take a look at that, that's pretty much it for our bogey. Now I'm gonna build the same thing on the other side, just the other direction. Right here, take out our uh, gray concrete and we'll build it right over here. So once it's built, it looks like this. Then we'll add in stone brick slabs all the way across the outer edge. Back to the other side. 
like so. Then we'll go on the roof area. We'll add in smooth quartz uh, stairs. So that's going to be five blocks long. And the fifth one's going to be cornered. It's four, five. This is cornered. Like that. Then we'll add in a smooth quartz slab right there. And then three smooth quartz stairs. Then a slab. And then a trap door. And then the inside part of this will add in uh, three blocks, or actually two blocks long, smooth quartz. And smooth quartz stairs in the middle, and another one cornered right there on the side. Then the inside part of this, uh, we're going to fill that in with a stone block all the way across. So it looks like this, and I guess you could fill in the top part. So I guess that's why I put the stone. I was confused why I did that. Anyways, on the roof of this part, there's a little connection, so that's going to be um, another brick wall, and then dark oak trap door, and another two stacked right behind it. Then we're going to go in the front of this, add in smooth quartz slabs, and this is going to extend all the way to the other side. Alright, so next we're going to go to the fifth window, so one, two, three, four, five, take out a stone bun and then we'll add it underneath this window right here and then we're going to go underneath this uh, birch bun delete both sides of these slabs and replace them with stairs then we'll add in um, a dark oak bun adjacent to this doorway then we'll go off to the back part make the gang weight which is the same thing that we did before another brick block in the middle four blocks tall another brick wall and another brick uh, slab right there at the top. Then there's going to be uh, smooth quartz stairs right over here in this edge. And we'll add in uh, another brick wall here. Then we'll go uh, back down here and add a dark oak fence gate right there at the bottom. So once we have this, we're to copy what we did on this side to the other side. Alright, so once we have both sides, looks like this. Then we'll go make the rest of the pantograph. So that's going to be flower pot on top of this wall. Then we'll add another brick fence right over here, another one diagonally. And then acacia fence gate here. Uh, another brick fence again. Uh, another brick wall, which I'll grab right now. And we'll have that on both sides. Then we'll, in the middle, we'll add acacia fence gate. Uh, dark oak fence gate, open that up towards the other fence gate. Another one right over here. And a dark oak slab, which is going to be right over here at the edge. Then the middle area will add in um, another brick slab right there. And we'll add in uh, these levers so it's facing towards the slab and open the both up. Then we'll add in um, dark oak trap door here. Dark oak fence gates, so it's facing towards the trap door, and another one right behind it. And also to the side of this and close them up. Then on top, we're going to add three blocks wide of this dark oak trap door, make it closed. So it should look like this. Then we're going to go underneath this wall and the fence, replace that with. So yeah, and terracotta like so. Then we'll go on to the bottom. And we'll add in uh, two nether brick slabs here. Skip two blocks, add another two. Move on to the other side. And then we'll skip one, and then add two here, like so. All right, now we're gonna go on to the other side. Once we're here, we're gonna go down to the bogey. And we'll add in two nether brick slabs here skip three blocks and we're going to add in four nether brick slabs. Go on to the other side, add another brick slab here, skip a block, two, skip a block, one, like that. Alright, so that's how you build the power car with uh, doors on both sides. Now for the one-sided door, uh, we're going to take the same power car and rotate it 180 degrees so it kind of makes like a streamline effect. And we're going to also have it with the raised pantographs, so let's build it right over here. Alright, so once we rebuilt it over here, we're going to modify it. So, uh, first off, 
we're to get rid of this door on the side. So fill that in with smooth quartz. Delete this button at the bottom. Same thing on the other side. Delete the door and make it normal. Then for this bottom area, we're to replace uh, the nether brick slab that we placed with stone brick slab. So it's going to be blank again. And this is going to have like a slightly different design to it. Alright, so after that's been all filled in, let's work on the pantograph on the roof. Alright, so first we're going to destroy this pantograph here. Make it all cleaned up. So it looks like this, we got a blank slate now. So to make it folded up, we'll add dark oak fence gate here. Dark oak trap door on top. Dark oak fence gate diagonally back. And then dark oak trap door right behind it. Dark oak fence gate, open it up towards the front. And then we'll add another pair facing towards it. Then we're gonna add another one on top of that facing towards the front. And then uh, we'll add in dark oak fence gates right over here so they're going to be diagonally out. Then we'll add in three blocks wide, dark oak trap doors and dark oak fence gates right there on the sides of it and open them both up. So this is going to be the raised pantograph and I was able to add in some debug stick tricks to add in those um, additional levers. Uh, but of course, if you don't have it, it should look like this. All right, now I'm going to work on the bottom. So let's go down over here. I'm going to skip these four slabs, add in nether brick slabs, skip a block, add another one. Go on the other side. And we're going to add another brick slab here, skip a block, then we're going to add in three. Like that. Now for the other side, just go on this side. And we'll skip these two slabs, add another brick slab here, skip one, add another one right there. All right, so it looks like this. Now we need, <laughs> we need to add in this additional wire. So that's gonna be the same that we did on the other car. So that's gonna be um, another brick wall like that, dark oak trap door like that, and dark oak trap door, two blocks like that. And that's gonna extend off to the other, um, car I guess and there's like a couple of these connections uh, but yeah that's how you make the other type of pantograph power car now we're gonna move on to the final car now this is gonna be the board bistro car so what I'm gonna do for this car is if you remember our first power car right over here we're just gonna copy that and uh, build it right over here and then modify it all right so once we have our base like this uh, we're to go right over here to the edge and we'll add in this uh, nether brick wall and dark oak trap doors like that. Then right behind here, we'll add in um, this nether brick fence. So that's gonna be three blocks away. The later block here, both sides. And then we'll, on the inside part of that, we'll add in smooth quartz slab, nether brick fence on the very top of it. Then we're gonna skip five blocks and do the same thing right over here. All right, we got our antennae. All right, so for the bottom area, we're gonna delete these uh, doorways, make them plain like that. And also delete this logo here. I don't think we need this anymore like that. And then we would go on the other side, do the same thing, get rid of this doorway and make it all smooth quartz like that. And then the other side, yeah, it looks like the same thing. We're just deleting these doors, making it plain. All right, so it looks like this. And also remember to get rid of this logo thing. All right, so we got a clean slate. Now we'd go on the bottom part and we're gonna reset this uh, another brick slabs at the bottom, make them um, stone brick slabs again. Same thing on the other side, make a stone brick all the way across. All right, so after we've done that, it looks like this. All right, so next we're to get rid of these birch buttons. We don't need that anymore. That same thing on the other side, get rid of that. Like so. Back onto this side, well, I gotta add in another window here, two blocks. 
of glass like that, black concrete. And the inside part, you can fill that in with gray concrete if you want to. And we're also going to move this vent here, uh, two blocks across down here. Let's get our bedrock and the white carpet. It's going to be right there. Now the other side, we're going to move the vent here as well, just two blocks down. Bedrock inside. And smooth quartz slab and white carpet. All right, then we're going to count. So it's going to have uh, six windows. So one, two, three, four, five, six. After the sixth one, delete this pillar, replace it with smooth quartz. Skip a block, smooth quartz here. And delete these two blocks. Add in black concrete inside. Uh, another brick wall here. And then uh, smooth quartz slab on top. Then we're going to delete these uh, pillars right over here. We're left with glass. And we're going to add glass here. Skip. So that's the windows are two blocks wide. And then we're going to add black concrete. And then we want to have four windows. So this is one window, two, three, and then we have a fourth one right there on the edge and of course again just fill in the inside part with gray concrete there also is going to be the db logo here so that's going to line up with this pillar just add in quartz stairs on the sides of it like that all right after we're done with that there's also a logo here so that's going to be diagonal to this uh, button and that's going to be quartz stairs like that then we're going to skip two blocks and then add it another one underneath that uh, pillar like so. Alright, so the other side's a lot different from this side. It looks like this. So for this side, uh, go underneath the vent. Uh, we're going to add in two black glass here, black concrete. Then black glass here, two blocks long, black concrete. And then we're going to add in two black glass. And then after we'll add in smooth quartz uh, like that. Now the smooth quartz is going to be three blocks long. So extend that out. So it looks like this. Then we're going to go on to the other side. And we'll add in a black concrete here. Two blocks long glass, black concrete. And we want to make sure we have four windows. So one. And it's going to be two three and then four right there and after that we'll add in smooth quartz uh, block skip a block add another one here and then in the middle we'll add in another brick uh, wall here fill the block above add in black concrete inside of it and smooth quartz slab in front of it like that then the rest of this we're going to delete all that all the way across then we'll add in two more smooth quartz blocks. And then we'll skip a block, add smooth quartz, skip a block, add smooth quartz. So we're left with this and delete the slab underneath. And also the block above it. So we have these Adidas stripes. Now we're going to add in a smooth stone slab across the bottom row. Uh, light gray concrete powder above it. And then another one on the inside part of this. So this one's going to go underneath the antenna. And then we'll add in smooth quartz slabs across the top. Then we'll add acacia signs all the way across the sides of this. And this is going to say board bistro on the side of it. Like that. Now we're going to add detail on the bottom. So take out another brick slab. And we'll go line up underneath this letter I. I'm going to add in two nether brick slabs here, skip a block, another two, skip two, add one, skip two, and then we'll add two, skip one, add two, like that. Alright, so next we're going to go on the left hand side, go underneath this pillar, then we'll add in smooth quartz stairs on either side of it for the DB logo. Now we'll work on the other side's bottom, so go right over here, skip two blocks two nether brick slabs and then we'll skip another two add two nether brick slabs and then we're going to skip four 
two nether brick slabs like that and I think that's about it let me double check just in case uh, yeah we're pretty much done so yeah that's how you make all like cars for the ICE 3M and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video finally done with the build and thanks to Amtrak to EMD for commissions build making this video possible if you do enjoy this video remember to hit that like button down below helps grow the channel and subscribe if you had already because I'll be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys in the next one Bye.